You want to come over? We're in the bee yard. Well, you can't get there from here. You have to go around. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't feel right, does it? You have to go around. Yeah. Well, come on around. Yeah, you have to. I will not come and get you. No, you have to go around. Don't even try it. You're going to get hurt. Go around. She'll come around. I know. You're a smart girl. You're so clever. You want to help me check the bees? Ta-da! I knew you'd come around. You're so smart. Yes, you are. You're such a smart girl. All right, we're going to get busy with the bees. These are two of our favorite people in the entire world. They're our granddaughters, and they decided to come out on Labor Day weekend to help us harvest some honey. But first, we thought they should get used to being around the bees because, in truth, they're both afraid of bees. So they are bravely suited up in their brand new beekeeping outfits, and we're going to see what happens. Gaga, bees trying to carry a dead bee. Oh, yeah, they do that. Those are the mortician bees. Yeah. And they can't leave dead bees in the hive. It would just be like leaving a dead body in the house. So there it goes, oh, flying away with it. No. Did, did it? He dropped it. Oh. So these are hive tools. And are they fine? Is it the buzzing fine? Yeah, it's fine. So we're just going to pull these away to give them a little more room. I just want to check. Now you see this bee? Mm -hmm. That's a little guard bee. It's not happy with me. So I'm going to give them just a little bitty puff of smoke. Right across the top. And when you get your smoker going, you have to keep fanning it or it'll go out. So it's just, it's just about to go out on it. I can be in charge of the smoker. I can just keep on fanning it. But no. Okay, just every once in a while. What does the smoke do to the bees? So like it does two things. The main thing it does is it gives them the smell of smoke so they can't smell anything else. So their pheromones aren't really functioning. They can't smell that I'm yeah. a big old bear breaking in. And they also can't smell the alarm pheromones from their sisters. Now, can you see this thing right here? This is a queen cell. Yeah. Making a new queen? Oh, the queen has come out. She's come out, so we we might have a new little queen in here. We what gotta look and see. Queen? What you looking for, Grant? Your phone. What is it it's on, it's on, on the, the tripod. tripod. And look in here. Let me show you this. We moved this frame of brood over from a different colony, hoping that that queen cell down there on the bottom right would hatch, and it did. A bee just fell on your boot. Inside my boot? No, on, no, boot. on it. Oh, on my boot side. Is that? That is a bee trying to hatch. Uh, and it didn't. It is. It's coming out right it. now. It's I, is he showing the tripod? It's hatching right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, see that cool. This is really blurry, but we got to see three bees hatching from their cells. What is that? You see her right there? She's this right one? there. Uh -huh. What is that? Honey. That's honey. Mm, honey, and these these are brood. They're they're cat brood, meaning they're see. There's another. There's just mm. baby bees coming, about to come out. So are we your taking your picture? Oh. So are we taking those out for honey? No, we're definitely we're gonna, gonna leave these in. We wouldn't take the brood out for honey. Okay. And there's an can ant you on see it. See deep down in those cells right there. Oh yeah, there's honey. That's actually pollen mixed with oh. honey, and that's called bee bread. So oh, look, it's moving. It's trying to get out. 
Is that what they feed the larva, Dodo? Yes, yeah. They feed that to the baby bee, the larva. Here we have a mixture of capped, brood, and bee bread. This is on the same frame, but I took this picture about a week and a half earlier. He's so cute. Now this bee here is working on a queen cell that's hatched. Oh, where is it? Right there. So let's look and just see if we see any queen. Oh, look at all the bees. Yep, there's, well, now, okay, do you see this bee right here that has a white dot on her? Yeah. yeah that, that's the a old queen. queen. Because she was a marked queen and she just hasn't done very well at all. But if She's she so notices, pretty. she is lovely, I'll tell you that. But if she notices another queen in there, she'll try to kill it before it can even hatch. So that's why they're blocking her? To try to keep the mate? Well, they're definitely all over her. And I think. But they're trying to make I think you. they're encouraging her to lay some eggs, is what I think they're doing. Oh, so this isn't honey? This is just what? This is open kind of What about that? That is brood. That's baby bee. Okay, so she's already... And there's some more brood over here. Yep. So which ones are honey and which ones are... So mostly in here, uh -huh. it's just empty orange. Here you go. Wait, look, look. Queen? What is that? I believe this is a brand new queen. But she's really small. Look at that. She's That's our new beautiful. queen. See, she's really small, but see how long her tail is? Yeah. And, and she and doesn't have wings, any stripes. Her wings look really short, and she doesn't have any stripes. She's so pretty. She's gorgeous. But I still like So, now what happens when this new queen hatches? She has to fly away and be mated so some boy bees can grow and come and mate with her so that she can lay eggs. I don't think she's mated yet. And you can tell that by in two ways. The first way is that the other bees are not hanging around her. She's just hatched. So what we're going to do, we're going to flush the old queen. Flush That's it? why the other bees are all around her. They want to keep her from finding this new queen. So now you're going to kill the Yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. Wait, but one thing, I can hold him. You want to hold her? We don't some? really want to hold her. We want to keep her in the hive, actually. Because if she were to fall, she's down in the, in the hive spot. Because so that's mate. why they were all crowded. Yeah. She needs to fly away and mate. So that's why they were all crowded. That's exactly right. So you see how, they try to smush you see how tame they are? Uh -huh. They're just letting us do everything. Even flush their queen. Of course, they really are ready to get rid of that queen. Wait, how, how are they going to survive without a queen? They've got a new queen. Yeah. So, so let's put get this in the hive. Since there's no, like. There's a door oh. right here. Oh, there is? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, this guy's gonna die if you get this. Yeah, we won't let her die. Well okay. done. You want this? Uh, we want that next. We call that the attic. Oh yeah, um, to the attic keep in. It See? lets it it lets out the hot air. Yeah. But you, you with said the that hive dome, we don't really need the attic, but we need something to hold down the hive dome. So that's why we have it on here. This wonderful morning was answered prayer. The girls behave so beautifully. Their bee suits fit, and they saw the workings of a beehive in ways that many people don't get to see in an entire lifetime. So we closed up the hive. With a new sense of confidence, we moved on to some much larger hives where we could get into the supers and take some frames of honey.